Sporty, striking design, a lot of cool technology and features, and we already have a pretty good idea that this car is reliable because of the badge on it. It's the 2025 VW Tiguan. It's that feeling that makes you want to... Welcome to Approved Automotive. We have two businesses, which is Approved Showroom, focusing on premium luxury vehicles, such as Porsche, BMW, Mercedes. And we also have Approved Detailing, focusing primarily on PPF, window tint, and anything cosmetic care when it comes to your car. Let's get into the video. So underneath this exterior, the 2025 Tiguan does share a lot of features that the previous Tiguan used to have. However, you can see that the outside is totally different and we're going to get more into that. Here in the UAE, the car comes in nine different colors. This one is called Urano Grey and you can also see from front to back, you've got some very smart headlights and tail lights. This particular car is the VW Tiguan R-Line. So you can also see this full tail light at the back that you don't get on the lower models. So this particular car has the 19 inch Coventry wheels. And if you come around here, of course, keyless entry. Follow me inside, go on, get in. So, welcome inside. On first impressions, I think it's really, really nice, really modern, really futuristic, lots of nice lighting as well. Um, and also I've noticed immediately, um, not on the steering wheel, which is, I believe, a positive thing, um, but there is actually a lot of uh, haptic feedback buttons as well, which you can see up there. So I've just opened the sunroof as well that way. Um, and also the actual roof itself opens as well that way. So you've got ambient lighting, which I think has around 30 different colors. Um, and then also what's interesting is you have a setting on your screen, which is called atmospheres. So if you look at this and then look at the colors, I'm changing the different profiles and you can see it went from like a purpley blue to pink. Now it's going to change to red because that's energetic. Minimal, which is more of like a, what is that? Like a greeny blue color. And then me, the owner of the car, it's like a white color as well. So very, very nice uh, different way to do the, the ambient lighting as well. Um, moving on, look at the seats. They're very nice and leather. Um, and you have a lot of practicality as well, because let's just move this paperwork here, more on what we're doing on the car later. You have, which pleases me no end, multiple spaces for big bottles. Um, for example, I was driving an Audi RS6 the other day and the cup holders are so tiny that actually the width of my phone does not sit in the cup holder. And that's important for me. In this car, you have big bottle space, which would fit my big thermal water bottle that everybody jokes at me at in the office. I'm going to have to show you that later. <laughs> and then you have these slots, which I presume, I mean, this one's for keys. You can see the little key symbol there, but then you have you have here, very nice, here, very nice, and here, very nice. And then moving on from that underneath, you actually have um, USB-C ports times two, but you also have two wireless charging. Where's your spare phone, Bilal? Got it? Look at that! So you may have noticed this unusual button here, which actually works for the volume, but then you can also change it. So see now you've got the different driver profiles. And then if you change it again, it goes between those two back to volume. Very nice. I think certainly on these cars in the UK, if not in Europe, this button does have the volume and instead of the settings, the driver profiles, it does have a fan setting as well, which is actually... No, I remember what I'm gonna say yeah. now. Okay. Another thing that I... <laughs> Good. 
Another thing that I've never actually seen, at least not in the same capacity, is this gear shifter here. So, I don't know if you can see there. I'm actually shifting there. See, there it is into reverse, neutral drive. Very nice, and then P for park. That's why I'm right. So let's talk about this massive infotainment screen. So this is actually 15 inch infotainment screen, which is 2.1 inches bigger than the base models. I think it's really, really nice and really, really big. Um, so there's so many features and things like this on here. Like you can also um, adjust the heads up display settings from there, which is really, really nice as well. Um, and also back to those atmosphere settings as well, climate control as well. And then also you have down below it, you have the volume that you can control that I'm not doing very well because there's no music on right now, but you get the idea. So you also have the standard settings um, in terms of where your air is, but I really do think with the climate control, it's quite cool to have these features. I'm not sure how useful, but cool my feet, warm my hands, um, defog windows. I think it's very nice to see it in this way rather than the usual little knob you might get below the screen for this kind of thing. I've just discovered as well, which I didn't actually know until just this second, that this car even has massage seats. Now let me sleep. Would you like to be massaged, Bilal? Let me do it. Here we go, front passenger. What should we do? Waves, shoulder, tapping, circles. Ooh, look at that. Very nice, I'm very surprised, pleasantly so. Just look at all these options you've got. I feel like it's got more than, more than usual, actually. Um, let's click on this one, assistant system. What's this? Side assistant, lane change system, drowsiness monitor, so sensitivity as well, just in case you get a little bit tired. See, the drowsiness monitor detects signs that the driver may be tired, which can help prevent accidents. pop out of the noise of the chaos of a detailing shop. Hi, welcome to the back. So on first impressions, I would say, I mean, this would be my kind of driving position. There's plenty of room in the back for your knees or also, as you can see, the ISO fix, which is very nice as well. And also, fun fact, did you know that the Tiguan is named after two animals? Can you guess what they are? I'm gonna give you multiple choices and 10 seconds, go. Think hard, think hard. Not me giving you the answers. Did you get it? So you have two little animals put in the back here, which I think is a really fun, kind of unique feature. So you have the tiger here and the iguana here. Think about it. Get it? Tiguan. So yeah, very spacious in the back. Um, you've also got climate control in the back. You've got these nice, all the way down, really quite big windows. And then also another cool feature I've seen is you also have this armrest here. But if you pull on this little tab, You've got two nice little cup holders as well. Very nice. And also there's a little book symbol here. So I presume maybe you can put an iPad or something in there, um, probably more so than a book itself, um, which will hold nice there if you have got kids in the car and you are going on a long journey. So the Tiguan really is geared towards kind of being a family car. And another thing which is quite unusual as well is you've got these kind of pockets here, kind of, fit a phone in nicely, maybe some sweets, maybe something else. You've got multiple pockets. And also you haven't got the ambient lighting in the same way up here, but you have got it down here and it's very, very nice. Carries the theme from the front to the back. Not forgetting you've got two USB-C chargers in the back as well. So if you are charging that tablet or iPad, or if you're on your laptop, plenty of power as well for again, those long journeys. 
And of course, for peace of mind, a historically trusty VW comes with three years unlimited mileage manufacturer warranty. And that also has extended warranty options and of course, servicing plans, but also up to 60,000 kilometers or four years and roadside assistance. But I don't think you'll need it much with a VW. Don't forget the virtual pedal, which makes for an easy open trunk. So in summary, I think the 2025 VW Tiguan is an excellent car. It's not too big and it's not too small and it's perfect for families. And I think it's perfect for the roads here in the UAE as well, because it has that little bit of kick to get out of the way and get speeding when needed to as well. Would like to thank the owner because this particular car is here with us at approved detailing for full paint protection film. If you didn't know, our PPF is Expel Ultimate Plus, that's a gloss version, and Expel Stealth, which is a satin version. We don't remove any badges or panels. We have in-house designers who actually extend the original templates for maximum coverage. And the film is self-healing with a lifetime warranty from Approved as well. Please remember to like, share and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye! I just did the key with. <laughs> Keyless entry, take three. <laughs>